interested in what does it take for individuals to to feel compelled to raise their voice and get involved. I've always been interested in this as someone who um, felt at a relatively young age that, um, that I have to speak up about injustice. But because there's so many people who, let's say, went to the march in Washington uh, two months ago and identified as people who were not active before, I'm always interested in, in seeing students in my classroom to see what is their moment uh, is there a person who says, come with me to a meeting, there's a new student group um, happening? I know in, in other parts of the world, um, you become an accidental activist. It's not that you wake up one day or you take a class and you're like, I think I, I, I want to do more work on this issue. Is that um, there's a sewage plant outside um, your home and... Um, and you, you feel like it's about protecting your kids and your livelihood, or there's a war and um, you don't want to send your kids because you don't want them to get killed. So there's a, le there's a level of privilege. I'm interested in how people negotiate the, the world that they live in and what compels them uh, to get involved in, in movements for social justice and social change. And of course, how do, how do we sustain that? Like can, how, how, how can we build on history of um, movements for social justice and social change to figure out what do we need um, to get people to understand the urgency to to get involved right now.